for a world of pain. A couple of years ago, I started this channel and my very first video on here was about the Spider-Man game that tricked me. Spider-Man Web of Shadows Amazing Allies Edition. Amazing! This was a 2D beat-em-up game that was released on the PS2 and PSP. And while fun, it was a bit of shady marketing as I bought the game expecting it to be an open world style Spidey game like the other PS2 Spidey games that we've grown accustomed to over the years. After putting the disc in, I quickly found out that wasn't the case. That version isn't the topic of today's video though. It would be a couple more years before I upgraded consoles and got my hands on the actual Web of Shadows. With Marvel's Spider-Man 2 set to release in October 2023, and with the black suit slash symbiote suit being heavily featured in its marketing, I thought that it would only be fitting for me to take a look at a game that arguably portrayed the suit at its very best and also go back to where it all began for me on YouTube discussing the greatness of Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I'm not gonna go into a full detailed plot analysis here in case people watching this want to give the game a try for themselves. Fair warning though, this game is really difficult to find, so if you're lucky enough to get a copy, hold on to it for dear life. But of course, this game is the game that gave us that iconic Spider-Man meme of him walking sadly as everything around him is just falling apart. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below or else Venom will devour you in a slow and excruciating fashion. The story mainly revolves around a symbiote invasion of New York. The Venom symbiote somehow starts reproducing on a massive scale after an altercation with Spider-Man and Venom ends with Peter taking a piece of Venom for himself. The symbiote spread like crazy, taking control of anyone and everyone, leaving the entire city in a post-apocalyptic zombie-style wasteland. It's up to Spider-Man, with the help of his own symbiote along with some familiar friends and foes, to help take back and save the city. How the story progresses will be determined by whether or not the symbiote takes control of Spider-Man and alters his behavior thanks to the game's morality system. How this system works is that during key moments of the story or after a boss fight, the player will be given two choices, either the red suit or the black suit. The red suit of course represents the good choice in which Spider-Man does the right and heroic thing, while the black suit option is the bad choice causing Spider-Man to be a complete and utter jerk. The ending of the story will be determined by the choices you make and to a lesser extent the suit that you play as the most. The game has multiple different parts and four different endings so there's a lot of replayability here and that's always a green flag with me. There's also lots of side missions and optional quests to do in addition to the main story as well. But of course, replayability is only a good thing if the game is actually fun to play. And boy howdy, is this game lots of fun to play. Let's start with Spidey's movements. You can of course jump, web swing, wall crawl and zip through the air, basically doing whatever Spider-Man can. His spider senses are super useful for detecting enemies and allies and locking onto them. The movements are some of the slickest and smoothest for a Spidey game, although sometimes the camera may be a bit of a problem. As for the combat, let me just make a bold statement right there, right now, and say that this is the best combat ever in any Spider-Man game. It's so damn good. You can switch between the red and the black suits, each with their own unique style of combat and combos. 
each suit has its own unique skill tree as well so you can unlock new moves and combos with experience points that you gain from playing and progressing through the game. The red suit I would say is more for quick attacks and one-on-one -on -one combat whereas the black suit is more of a powerhouse suit able to punish hordes and groups of enemies at a time. Both suits have their advantages and disadvantages but both are extremely fun to use and play as. The game also introduces the web strike mechanic which is one of the main combat mechanics of this game. This is a move designed to quickly move from enemy to enemy and close the distance between you and them as well. It's a mechanic that has been brought back in many future Spider-Man games so this was kind of the trailblazer for that mechanic. From throwing cars to launching airstrikes, there's quite a lot that you can do in this game as you go from battling street thugs to robots to symbiote zombies and monsters. As for the environment, I think that this game nails it honestly. New York is very accurate and very lively. The look, feel and atmosphere of it all is near perfection whether it be before the symbiote outbreak or afterwards. The music used in this game is very well done and does a brilliant job in adding to the entire experience as it definitely sets a tone for whatever might be going on in a particular moment. I find music to be extremely important in games and this one definitely does well in that department. As for my overall thoughts on this game, my overall thoughts of this game is that it is extremely underrated and actually amazing. Amazing! It isn't perfect and it can be a tad bit repetitive sometimes, but even during the repetitive bits, it's just so fun to play. You won't ever get bored playing it. The morality system might be a bit hit or miss and a bit disjointed and the story might be a bit out there, but I think it's a really fun web-slinging Spider-Man experience overall. There's a couple of cool cameos and awesome appearances from other Marvel characters in the game as well, like with Wolverine or Iron Man or Black Widow etc. And some cool dialogue exchanges that you can have with various different folks. My biggest issue with the game however, might be the voice of Spider-Man honestly. I find his voice to be extremely cringe and annoying, especially when he yells or shows emotion, but I can kind of look past that honestly. If you're wanting to play a top tier Spider-Man game with amazing gameplay and lots of replayability, then I'll definitely recommend this one. If you want to see me discuss the entire plot of this game in detail, then show some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel and leaving a comment below. That was my take on Spider-Man Web of Shadows though, thank you guys for watching, peace out.